okay so i have reached the recording limit there so now starting a new video so i'm continuing uh, on the musings on uh, how full range drivers uh, load the room and uh, how the cube audio voices their drivers different from the vast majority of single and uh, single handed driver manufacturers is that most uh, full range drivers manufacturers they voice them to have as high efficiency as possible in the mid range and cube audio voices them keeps the mid range efficiency at, at a, uh, a lowish level but shunts that energy into the base and also they employ just absolutely hyper massive motors that generate just an absolutely brutal uh, field strength so so the, the the strength that is available at the fc8 is basically the limit of what the physics can provide us with with this type of technology the only way to make it stronger would be to build electromagnets or uh, liquid helium cooled electromagnets then we could make it like way stronger but then you would need like um, an industrial warehouse to to have those uh, cryogenically cooled speakers for yourself and of course they have to be custom made so uh, i'm showing again so this is the sonido eight inch uh, alnico a single driver and uh, is this is an absolutely beautiful wonderful uh, driver if i was to make uh, one it, it would look like this so istvan uh, he is the uh, maker of these drivers in hungary he made an absolutely fantastic job of it and then the way he voiced these uh, drivers is uh, uh, voice them how telephone can voice them so if you are looking for something like a good man or Altec or old JBL uh, telephone can that kind of sound that kind of voicing that kind of magical mid-range this is how the sonido is done so I know my channel is basically created of my progression how i get to the voice of lancelot speaker and uh, i'm trying to share my experiences how i progress there what i noticed through the that process and uh, of course the problem with that if you want to build it you most likely cannot because the, the drivers are pretty elusive by now they were never uh, really accessible drivers and uh, it's you even myself it was just by sheer luck that that i got them it wasn't just sheer luck it it was also keeping eyes open and waiting for the opportunity and when, when the opportunity came yes i took it and that's how you can get those drivers realistically at realistic prices and and even now i get comments that oh i saw that there were a pair of those drivers came up and 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 it at a very affordable price but you have to be so aware that if something like that comes up like with the Altec 288s or 515s if it comes up you immediately have to buy it because if you wait half an hour it will be gone so if there's something like that comes up at a great price get it right now even if uh, you don't have space at the moment you don't have time to build those speakers at the moment you think maybe sometimes in the future you build it that's how you did it that's how you do it is that when the opportunity presents grab them that second and maybe you have to wait 10 years before you build them that's how i did it those drivers were just leaping in my garage for over a decade before i built the speakers with them and uh, and i think that's the kind of thing the kind of knowledge that that you need to do need to have as a DIYer to to progress on your journey or to to truly find the really great catches and and one of those great catches is is 
this Sony door driver. Uh, if you don't have the expertise, the knowledge, or the time or space, uh, then uh, and you want that kind of tone as you can get from the voice of Lancelot from the iTech drivers, the Sony Do will get it for you. They are voiced like they are. And uh, the, the Cube Audio is not voiced like that, it is voiced very differently. And, uh, and what was my and why I, I tried them out, why I tried the Cube Audio out is because initially I thought that based on how uh, how it is voiced, how the t small parameters are, uh, I, I imagine that they will not work with that system that I have and they will not integrate in that path. But Grzegorz from Cube Audio said that Janusz, give it a try. And if you don't like it, just send it back. So, as, as disclosure, I'm, I'm just saying, I have revealed this already in my previous videos, that I got the Cube Audio SC8s from Cube Audio, from Gregos personally. He sent them to me and he didn't ask money for them. So it, they, they were a gift to me and, and he didn't ask me for reviews either. So there were no, no, no hidden favors. So I'm not like promoting uh, Cube Audio because I was given a driver or something. No, uh, he told me that just, you know, if you like them, keep them. If you don't like them, send them back. And, and, uh, and I absolutely love them. So that's why they are still in the void pipe and I'm not taking them out. <laughs> and um, even though uh, how I originally imagined that when my Fostexes die in them, which they already did, I, I originally intended to put the Sonido driver in them. However, this idea of mine was before I moved in my final home where I am now. And when I moved in my final home, now I realized that uh, downstairs in the living room, uh, those Fostex speakers uh, did not work, they did not load the room properly. And, uh, and as they had the exact same TLS small parameters as the Sonido, that's how I formulated that image in my mind that it will not be a good idea to have these drivers in this uh, house. And uh, and given that the QT value is much higher for the uh, FC8, the Q body FC8, and also that uh, the energy is more shunted to reproduce the base to reinforce the base. Uh, actually, this th this is the theory, and that's the physics behind it. And the reality is that it works. And, and they can create phenomenal low extension here and they can create even lower extension uh, downstairs where the room is much larger, like the length is like three times as long as up here and uh, like here they can extend like to something like 25 hertz, really strong and uh, downstairs easily to 20 hertz or maybe lower i haven't tested uh, so what did i want to say i wanted to say something uh, along those lines but it escapes my mind uh, what was it what was it so yes i remembered sonido so basically uh, when gerald told me that janos i can i can send you my pair of the sonido uh, 8 inch Alnico drivers. I was first thinking, I didn't answer to him that uh, thank you, Gerald, please send them, even though that was my, I immediately wanted to do that. But uh, the number one thing about me is that I am not building loudspeakers willy nilly. Uh, I only and only build a loudspeaker if I know that I'm going to use it uh, regularly and I have a place for that. And I had to come up with an idea in my mind 
how I'm going to use the Sony doors. And when I got that idea, that's when I told Gerard, please send them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, and yes, uh, so what I'm going to do with the Sony doors is that the, the cube audios uh, in this void pipe will stay in this room. This is their home. And the Sony doors will go downstairs and they will uh, be in a different kind of speaker not in a, a pipe like this because in this cabinet uh, here it can load the low frequencies pretty well but downstairs it, it, it was unable to load the room well although there was one exception uh, there is a, a Quicksilver amplifier, the Quicksilver triode that uses the Russian uh, tubes, the 6C33C tubes, and that amp did load even downstairs with the four stacks. Uh, th the bass was just fantastic, uh, even with the four stacks, so it means that with the Sonido it would be perfect as well. But that is not my amp. I gave it back to his own, to its owner after a quick check and, and maintenance on it. And uh, I'm going to use my amps with it. So I'm going to design a, a speaker cabinet that works with my uh, amplifiers and my room downstairs. And the simple reason is downstairs I have my my push-pull amplifiers, the Ampexes, and I have my single-ended amplifier and uh, <clears throat> I can only use one at a time because there's the voice of Lancelot downstairs and there's no more speakers. So I want to place, oh there's Kintaro working on the carpet, that's why the camera is shaking. Uh, because the tripod is on the carpet and he is, Kintaro come here, Kintaro. Okay, he is he's here. Kintaro is here. Special guest appearance by Kintaro, Sir Kintaro. And, um, and also uh, downstairs uh, I had the void pipes there for a while next to the voice of Lancelot. But the problem is because these are so tall, they extended into the movie screen. <laughs> and uh, and, and that, that was not, not a good thing. And uh, uh, so, so the speakers that I will design for the Sony doors will be a folded void pipe, but not the usual kind. It will have some tricks about it and it will be modified so that it can load the room downstairs better with the amplifiers that I have. I will put a little bit of mass loading uh, to, to use and I will, will try out an idea that my late mentor Stu uh, had that, that he really wanted to try out but sadly he passed before we could do it and, uh, and it's something that Jimmy Dean was also mentioning is to have the port fire up so <laughs> that's how the cabinet will be for the Sonido and, um, and I think now it's time to stop this video and Kintaro is saying goodbye to everyone. Goodbye! So, uh, thank you for listening to my ramblings. I don't even see the time. The microphone cable is hiding the minute counter. It's 14 minutes. No, not so bad. So, thank you all for being here. And uh, this, I think, concludes my ramblings about uh, Sony Duo and Cube Audio. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, Kintaro just reminded me, is that uh, probably, I think, the next video, I mean, the next comments would be like, Danianos, which drivers do you recommend, the uh, Cube Audio or the Sony Duo? And, um, I don't know yet because I haven't built the Sonido cabinet yet so I cannot tell which one I prefer at this point but what my gut feeling is and what I can tell of my cumulative experiences and what I heard of uh, Gerald and others 
who used the sony door drivers what they experienced with them my hunch would be is that uh, they they are both uh, producing but they are both capable of connect doing a heart-to-heart -heart connection between you and the music because for me that's what i'm looking for kintaro is drinking so if you want to watch him drink this is the moment let me just remove okay can can, can we see him ah that's that's kintaro drinking he is very thirsty this is a long video so basically what i'm looking for in uh, drivers and not just drivers loudspeakers and stereo systems is that to produce uh, music to have a connection to the music itself and what i have realized and not just me but my friends as well who have heard them is that the both the uh, voice of lancelot type of uh, approach and the 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 Fostex driver uh, void pipe approach are perfectly capable to connect to the music and uh, and the good thing is that they they present different perspectives and and that is something that i love because if you only have one type of sound one perspective that presents you the music even if it's the best it's like kind of like eating caviar every day you get bored uh, you want different flavors so that's why i want different flavors so i have the cube audio flavor here <laughs> in this room and uh, and i also normally have the aos uh, the uh, the alnico over the, the small folded pipes the, uh, they are normally here in this room right now they are downstairs but they will come back here so i, I am switching between that and and these to have this different flavor it's kind of like if you are a wine drinker uh, it's like maybe like a cabernet and 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 a different wine so maybe a riesling so if you think like uh, the cube audio is maybe like a riesling uh, then uh, the ao would be like a cabernet that's the comparison between them and uh, and uh, on that matter uh, for for the cube audio they they really grab you with a, a really full frequency range experience so there and and in that way i do not mean like like hertz or something like that but uh, like the bass has a visceral presence it like energizes the room so these pipes here they energize this room so you have feel the energy in the in in, in the sound is just phenomenal uh, with the uh, sony do what i expect that i will hear is that they will not have that mm, monster grip on the energy of the raw frequencies but there it will uh, focus my attention to the mid-range to the beauty in the mid-range uh so and and uh, and i think this is my advice for all of you so what is it that you are looking for to experience if you want to focus on the mid-range then go for the sony though and if you want that that powerful energized bass then go for the cube audio drivers and and it's not just this specific sony door driver this specific cube audio driver uh, uh, but others as well so in the cube audio lines this was the smallest driver by now sadly it's discontinued so mm, you will have to employ some tricks to get it and uh, uh, for the sony door there's like other drivers smaller bigger all of them share that they have that wonderful mid-range and of course if you are at that point whether i want to build a, a, a void pipe or not then i would recommend just start with a cheaper 
driver just something really cheap and try it out but if you choose let's say a hundred dollars a pair driver and you build your first pair of void pipes made of MDF and you listen to that and you compare it to your ten thousand dollar focal speakers it will of course sound absolute rubbish so if you want to make a fair comparison to see if a void pipe is going to be uh, a road for you is it viable do i want to explore it do i want to put in the energy to develop the cabinet to get proper wood for it more expensive drivers then in the next video i will give you the advice how you can objectively decide whether that's going to be good for you or not and uh for now thank you for being here thank you master kintaro for <laughs> keeping company bye bye